Okay, so for this rainy Sunday crappy afternoon, we are inside working on the DMC2 and getting the M6 tool change commands working. Now the first thing to do for getting this working is get your machine powered up, you get Mach 3 loaded up, and you come down here and press reference all. And once it's referenced or finished referencing, we're gonna go ahead and move the spindle, which has a tool in it, and we're gonna move it over here to the X and Y locations of the tool height setter. So all I did was I jogged the machine over until the tool was sitting in X and Y as close to the center as I could eyeball it. And then I jogged down just so it was easier to see, but your Z height, at least at this step, doesn't matter. Now, I don't wanna take credit for writing these scripts. I most certainly did not. Mike G, uh, he's a admin in the DMC Discord. He's really active, really helpful, and he provided this GitHub page that has all the scripts that he wrote for uh, the rest of us to use. So I'll put a link for the GitHub down below, but in the GitHub, it has the M6 start and stop scripts for us to use and a nice explanation of how the tool changing works on the DMC2. Now with the scripts downloaded, you're gonna wanna find your way to the Mach 3 folder, most likely stored in your C drive, unless you purposely put it somewhere else. And you're gonna wanna come down to your macro page. Inside your macros, you're gonna find your Mach 3 mill, which this is in fact a milling machine. And if you come down here a little bit, you're gonna see your M6 end and M6 start. Now you'll just drag and drop those scripts into here and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna overwrite? You're gonna press yes and it's gonna get rid of the original scripts that were provided in Mach 3. So once you've got the scripts properly located in the Mach 3 folder, you're gonna go ahead and open up. I went with the M6 start to begin with and you're gonna scroll down a little bit till you find this section. Adjust the following according to your machine. Now these I've already populated based off of my numbers, but you're gonna take your machine coordinate position for X and Y, and you're gonna enter it in here for the absolute positions of where the tool is gonna to perform the tool change. Now I've had issues where my Z end stop gets triggered when I go to position zero, which is what the default is in this script. So I change it to negative 10 and that's just gonna prevent the tool from retracting all the way up. It's gonna retract almost all the way up and then make its moves. That's the way I'd recommend doing it, but to each their own. And don't forget, after you modify the script in this text box, make sure to hit file and save. So that way it saves it. So now with both of those files modified and edited in the macros folder, you should probably relaunch mock, I didn't, but we're gonna come back, we're gonna switch out of the machine coordinates and into the working coordinate system. I don't currently have a program written to run a script. So I'm just gonna type in M6 into the MDI and press enter. So the tool's gonna to retract up. As you can see up here, it didn't retract up all the way to the end. So I have that negative 10, maybe I'll change that to negative five if I really need that extra Z height for clearing tools over your vise. But now it's gonna search down and probe the surface. You're gonna see the probe active light go on. My fat finger isn't in the way. So now it has found the height for the current tool in the job. So I'm gonna grab a wrench. I'm gonna change the tool out. Great, now we've put our second tool in and the M6 script is only halfway through, but now it's gonna measure the new height from the end of this tool to the last tool. I'm gonna do that by coming over here, pressing our cycle start, and now it's gonna probe the height for the new tool, and it'll compare the two and update the current offset. So we see our probe light come in, and then right down here it says previously negative 83, and it's currently negative 83, difference zero. I'm gonna get you a little closer. I lied a little bit, there's some other numbers in there, but the difference is zero, meaning we didn't change the tool. 
So with that little demonstration complete, I think that shows how quickly and easily it is to set up the M6 tool change commands for the DMC2 in Mach 3. I hope this was helpful to the guys in the DMC2 group that are looking to add this to their machine. And uh, if you have any problems, definitely drop them down below in the comment section or hit me up on Discord or the Facebook group. Thanks for hanging around. See you next time.